Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw something that's really fun to do in the summertime. Camping. Yeah, well, we're gonna draw a tent. Yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You ready to start? Juice. <laughs> we're first gonna draw the ground. Let's draw a horizontal line that comes across our paper. Now we're gonna draw the opening to our tent over here on the right, and we're also gonna draw it so that it looks 3D. So first, we're gonna draw an upside down V. So we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna come back down. This is for the opening in our tent. Now let's draw the flaps on our tent, or for the door. We're gonna draw two lines that come down on each side. Kinda looks like another upside down V, right? Yeah. And we didn't go down it all the way because we're gonna bend it back into the first one we drew. Now we could also draw, let's draw a little sleeping bag inside. I'm gonna draw a little curve. <laughs> you could draw little feet. You could also draw somebody's head right there. Yeah. <laughs> let's just leave it like that. <laughs> now let's draw the outside of our tent. We're gonna draw another upside down V. We're gonna come out further and we're gonna come up. And I could, we could have gone to that point right there, but I, I went a little higher. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. And then right here on the left, let's draw a line that comes down like this. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. That's the front of our tent. Let's make it look 3D. We're gonna draw the top of our tent coming back to the left. Now let's draw, we're gonna draw this same line at the same angle and the same length coming down. Yeah, and then we can also connect across to the front. Then we're gonna draw this same diagonal line right here to finish. Cool. Now our tent is missing something very important, especially if there's strong wind. The stakes. Yeah, to hold the tent to the ground. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's draw, we're gonna draw a line that comes like this. We're gonna just extend and we can do it over here too. And we're gonna leave a little space above the ground and we could do the same thing over here on this side too. This is the rope that's coming down to our stakes. Let's draw a diagonal line down from that rope. And we're gonna draw another diagonal line right next to it that matches. And then at the top, let's draw an oval shape to connect those two together. Then we could also tie the rope around the stake. Let's repeat that same step over here for the back. Draw two diagonal lines next to each other. And then an oval at the top and wrap the string around the stake. If we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. All right, we got one more stake. This time I'm drawing the two diagonal lines going the other direction. And also at the top, instead of doing an oval, let's just do a curve. This stake is facing the other direction. We wanna make it look more 3D. Okay, Jack, we did it. We finished our tent. Oh, we could add another detail. What, what should we add? A window. Yeah, sometimes you need to open the window to get extra fresh air. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna draw a rectangle shape, but we're gonna draw it tipped so it looks like it's on the roof of our tent. So all of the lines we're gonna match. This, see this angle right here? We're gonna draw that same angle for the side of our window. Then let's draw a line across that matches the top. And we could also draw a line that matches the bottom. Now these are the same length, but this line looks like it's longer. That's because it's over. And when we connect these two lines, we want that diagonal line to match the side of our tent. Yeah. Now up at the top, we could draw the little uh, part, the flap that's rolled up. So let's draw an oval. And then we'll draw the top of the rolled up flap. And then we'll draw a curve that matches the oval over here. We could also draw a little tie in the middle. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished our tent. But we still need a color. We're going to fast forward this part, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, give me five. We did it, we finished drawing our camping tent. Yeah, we also added a background. Yeah, and it looks really cool with the background. I especially love 
that we drew it at night. Yeah, you guys can change the background and add anything you want. Yeah, and we also use markers to color our drawings. But you can use crayons or colored pencils. Yeah, anything that you have at home. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your tent. Yeah, and we hope you have fun coloring and adding a background and using your own creativity to change your drawing. Yeah. We love drawing with you guys, and we'll see you later, our friends. Good Goodbye. Luck. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.